and uh, there you go. There's Big Boy. So there's a hole in the crag, basically. You, oh, you could tie yeah. off the crag. Yeah. If you were sort of tying up a, 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 an airship from um, his dark materials, that's where you'd tie him in. Yeah. And I've always wanted to, to, to wrap that, like Christo used to, uh, to wrap the... Uh, Used to wrap boulders, didn't he? Yeah. What 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 a what a lovely crag. I mean, if you were going to design a, a crag for for your really keen newcomer, intermediate expert, you'd pick Stanage. Faces the right way. It's even got a little fractal, little Stanage over there, called Cast Side Rocks. Yeah. So th this is the little training boulder. I'm not sure it'll go in these, but I'll try. Yeah, they're both slightly sliding. So I train a lot of people on this boulder. Do that, do it the other way round, jump onto it, traverse the boulder. It's a really good one. I first came here in 79. I remember we had a uh, really tight um, green nylon army sweaters that managed to make you sweat and get really hot, but also really cold. And uh, it'd be my brother, Andy Gittins, Tim Gittins, Nick Crawshaw. And they get utterly pumped uh, on different routes. Like, like you can't get pumped on, on an E5, actually, is a very pumpy grade. And so is hard VS. Like pump has certain places. And the other one is hard severe or severe 4A. You know, you can hang in there and you're doing it really wrong. Your foot's too high. You've missed the hold. You've got both hands left of the crack and it should be on the right. And you are puffing away like crazy. And your hands are really cold. The, the, the B layer's got you too tight one minute and then it's not paying attention. And all that good stuff, you don't get that if you're bolder. You know, but on the other hand, Stanish has some of the, the world's best boulders as well. You know, you've got that bloke Moffat is it who did the ace is it and the joker um yeah and then you've got beautiful hangs to do today I'll show you a little canyon that's not in any of the guides and it's got some really amazing hangs I'll show you the hardest link I did on Stanage and also the hardest two hangs um which literally I hung I hung for like a second that's it but it's maybe one of the hardest things we've ever done in climbers. Yeah, and just also, just looking at the crag. Um, but back at my house, I've probably got the picture of this with all the lines that I did, no hands. Because there's, a, did I say, there's 187 no handers on the cliff. And the hardest one is probably down the left of Jeepers Creepers. It's got three moves that need to be done, one after the other, and you've got to play plaster grip onto the hole as you move and uh, the top move you end up in the wrong position so you've got a, a remainder um, twirl with your arms that's really um, comes unique each time you get there because because you, you accumulate three mistakes yeah so one of one of the venues um, is is Stanage front I mean if you're a frictioneer you see you you actually notice these very very low rocks that are in the foreground below Stanage and um, I've often used this to teach as well and those have all got stands and jumps and uh, little hangs and in the little valley that you can't see there's some good smearing ones as well but uh, you know it's, re it's really nice it's, um, it's not as windy and uh, you know you've got the place to yourself yeah. so frictioneering is nice like that and you can you know you meet I mean, I think the usals are down there, but um, they weren't there when we were there. Not that we, they were there initially and then weren't there. They, they weren't there at the beginning. <laughs>